I Gurmi Singh welcome you to the Creator classes and also welcome to our lecture series on permutation. Yes, this is a lecture series on permutation. Firstly, we will start with the basic fundamentals. In that, we will cover two lecture. That is, in the first lecture, we will cover and or principles, and in the second lecture, we will cover the fundamental of the factorial. After that, we will proceed further. We will cover all this lecture in the permutation. Okay. After that, we are having a quotient series. We have divided the quotient series into three parts. In the first part, we will cover the basic quotients. In the second part, we will cover the medium range of quotients. In the third part, we will cover slightly higher level of quotients. Okay. And in the end, we are having an assignment for you. Do not skip the assignment. It is a small assignment just to ensure your mastery over the permutation. After this permutation series, you will be able to solve all the questions based on the permutation. Okay, students. So without taking any further time, let's begin with our first lecture. And best of luck. This is our first lecture in this series. The topic of the lecture is the fundamental principle of counting. What is fundamental principle of counting? And what is AND or rule? And where and how to use it? All these fundamentals we will cover in this lecture. So let's begin this lecture with an example. The example is that suppose we are having a number rock that is a number rock of four combination. Four digit number are required to open this lock and we forget the number or the password to open this lock. But we remember only the second digit, that is 3. Rest 3 digit, that is the first, third and fourth digit we forget. Now the question is, in order to open the lock, how many sequence of 3 digit you may have to check with? Okay, this is the question. So let's check it out and let's try to make the various sequence that we can use to open this lock. So the first sequence we will use is 0301, second 0302, 0303, 0304. Like this we will keep on guessing the number till we got the password. Or we can say we can have many combination of various number sequence. And after some time you will realize that it became very tedious to further go and count the number. Because it will have many numbers. So, what is the solution? Is there any technique or the method to count the various sequence? Yes, we are having a counting method that we will discuss in this lecture. We will learn the various counting technique which will enable us to answer the question without actually listing down all the three digit arrangement that we will see in the course of this lecture. Before moving to the various counting technique, let's discuss the principle of counting that is the fundamental principle this principle or this fundamental will be used all over the probability, permutation, combination and also on the various streams of the mathematics. Okay? So let's discuss this fundamental of principle of counting. This fundamental is also known as the multiplication principle. Why? That you will see after taking a small example. The example is that, suppose a person want to go out and he is having three pants and two shirts. Now the question is that, what are the various ways in which the person can dress up using the three pants and two shirts? This is a question. Let's check it out. So the person can use the three pants, that is he can use the red pant or the blue pant or the black pant. And with each pant he can use the two shirt, that is the yellow shirt or the green shirt. So in totality we will have the six combination. Or we can say we are having the six different ways through which this person can dress up using three pants and two shirt. So we got the answer as six. In other way, we can say three into two is equal to six. That is three pants into two shirt is equal to six. This is a technique that is if we multiply the first choice with the second choice. Or we can say we can multiply the first event with the second event we will got the total number of ways in which the combinations can be formed. This is a basic schematical chart diagram which we can use for small number of items. But when number of items or the number of choices are large in number, we will use the AND OR rule. Okay? 
let's see what it is and how to use it the fundamental is that wherever we got the word and there we have to multiply and wherever we got the word or we have to do the addition and means the multiplication or means the addition okay this fundamental you have to apply based on the logic given in the question as you will further proceed with the different questions you will understand where to apply and and where to apply or this is just the common sense logic that you will understand as you take down the different questions okay so let's apply this fundamental to this question itself here we are having the three pants and the two shirt so we can say we have to choose one pant out of this three pants and we have to choose one shirt out of this two shirt so the equation that we can form is that we have to choose one pant that is we can choose red pant or the blue pant or the black pant and we have to choose two shirt that is we can choose the yellow shirt or we can choose the green shirt okay so here the number of red pant is one the blue pant is one and the black pant is one and yellow shirt is one and the green shirt is one and here the word or means the addition that i have just told you and the word and means the multiplication or means the addition and means the multiplication so we got 1 plus 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 we got 3 into 2 that is 6 so again we got the answer as 6 what we have done we have converted the question into equation and we have used multiplication in place of and and we have used the addition in place of or okay this is a very basic fundamental this will be used all over the probability permutation and combination so you should know it so with the help of the chart system also and with the help of this multiplication principle also you know how to approach the question so in general term we can say if we are having a decision one say m and decision two as n or we can say the event one as m and the event two as n so we got the number of ways as m into n okay moving further suppose we are having three event or the three decision suppose m n and p then the number of ways or the number of combination we can form is m into n into p okay the fundamental or the formula or the principle will remain same that is we have to multiply got it let's try this fundamental with the three event with a small example the example is that suppose a school student have to go to the school and he have to choose among some of the item that he have to carry to the school firstly he is having two bag a red bag and a blue bag he have to choose one bag out of the two bag then he is having three caps and he have to choose one cap among these three cap and finally he is having two pencil boxes one is red and second is blue he have to take only one pencil box to the school now we have to calculate what are the various number of ways in which the student can go to the school with the different set of the item okay firstly we will follow the chart diagram this student is having two bags so he can choose either the red bag or the blue bag further with each bag he can take the combination of three cap that is red cap blue cap or the black cap okay further with each of this combination he can also combine the pencil box that is the red box or the blue box so with each of this combination we can form the two pencil box combination so in totality we got 12 ways or the 12 combination can be formed out of three items got it so our answer is 12 let's check out with the help of the multiplication principle here the equation that we can form out of this question is like this we can choose two bags that is red bag or the blue bag and we can choose one cap out of the three cap that is red cap or the blue cap or the black cap and we can choose one pencil box out of two pencil box that is red box or the blue box so this is the equation with various ors and various ands and what is the principle 
we have to replace or with addition and we have to replace and with multiplication let's do so on solving we got 2 into 3 into 2 that is 12 again we got the answer as 12 hope you got the fundamental let's apply this fundamental to our first example that is the example of the number lock let's see how to solve this question let's see what are the various number of sequence that we can form again repeating the question here this is a four digit number lock system and we forget the password that is a four digit password to open this lock and only we remember the second digit that is the digit three now we have to calculate in order to open the lock how many sequence of three digit you have to check with okay this is the question here we cannot use the chart system because it will be a complex chart okay we will use the fundamental of the counting let's see how to use so first of all in the first digit we can use any of the number from 0 to 9 that is 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 5 6 7 8 or 9 okay and in the second digit the number only 3 is given that we remember so only one number will be there in the third digit again we can use the any number from 0 to 9 that is 0 or 1 or 2 or or or, or up to 9 okay and in the fourth digit we can use any of the 10 number that is 0 or 1 or 2 or 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 up to 9 okay got the fundamental why we are doing so we are having three vacant places and we are having 10 digit numbers okay 10 digit number means the number from 0 to 9 so we have formed our equation with ors and ands ors we have used because we have to choose any of the number from 0 to 9 so we have used the word or and in between this four digit number we have used the word and okay why we have used because to open the lock we should have four digit number that is first digit and second digit and third digit and the fourth digit we need all the four digit so we have used the word and got the fundamental why we have used the word and because we have to take all the four digit together okay first digit and second digit and third digit and the fourth digit so now I think you are able to understand the logic we have to apply the word and and we have to apply the word or this is the basic and you should know it this fundamental will be applicable all over the permutation combination and the probability so this is the basic and you should know it so moving further we have got the equation with various ors and ands and what is the principle we have to replace or with addition and we have to replace and with multiplication let's do so we got 10 into 1 into 10 into 10 so we got our answer as 1000 so we got 1000 different sequence that we can form to open the lock okay got it let's take one more question and this question you have to solve i will only assist you the question is same that is we are having a number lock system with four digit number now this time we don't remember any of the number okay in the previous case we have remembered our second digit number that is the digit 3 but in this case we don't remember any of the number now the question is what are the various number of sequence that can be formed to open the lock okay so the question is same only the difference is that in the previous question the second digit is known in this question the second digit is not known pause the video and try to solve this question on your own okay so welcome back so how to approach this question that we will see we will use the same fundamental that we have used in the previous question we are having four vacant places the first vacant place can be filled with 10 digits that is either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 up to 9 similarly the second digit also can be filled from any of the number from 0 to 9 and third and fourth digit can be filled with any of the number from 0 to 9 okay in the first slot we are having 10 choices in the second slot third slot and the fourth slot we are having 10 choices 
so this is the equation that will be formed and what is the principle we have to replace or with addition and we have to replace and with multiplication so let's solve it we got 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 that is 10000 which is the answer of this question so if you don't know any of the number 10000 sequence can be formed to open the lock and among this 10000 sequence one will be your password to open the lock okay so let's move further to the next question in this question we will take the question based on the alphabets or the letters these questions are generally prominent in the examination so pay your attention please the question is that we are having a word that is tank t a n k and we have to find a four letter word with or without meaning which can be formed out of the letter of the word tank where the repetition of the letters are not allowed the words here that is the repetition of the letters are not allowed this is very important two cases can be formed in the first case where the repetition of letter is not allowed basically we cannot repeat the letter suppose the first letter is t then the second third or the fourth letter cannot be t it should be either a n or k got it in the second case where the repetition is allowed there we can repeat the letter for example we can form the word like t t t t here we have repeated the letter t four times got it we can form the word like t a n n here we have repeated the letter n so these are the difference and you have to pay your attention what the question is asking for whether the repetition of letters are allowed or the repetition of letters are not allowed that you have to pay attention in the question let's move to the answer how to take down this question here we are having four letters t a n and k and we are having four spaces or we can say we are having four vacant spaces in which we have to fill this letter so that we can form the various combination of the words that can be formed from these four letters if you see in the first vacant place we can fit any of the four letter that is either we can use the letter t or we can use letter a or n or k okay we are having one vacant position and we are having four letters so we can use t or a or n or k note that we are using the word or here okay and what is or or is addition that we will use here further suppose we have used the letter t here or any of the one letter of t a n or k in the second vacant place we will be left with only three choices okay if we have used t in the first vacant place then we are left with a or n or k okay so only three choices are there a or n or k again note that we are using the word or let's move to the third vacant place here we will be left with only two choices suppose we have chosen t in the first vacant place a in the second vacant place so we are left with either n or k okay and finally the fourth vacant place with only having the last remaining letter got it in the first place we are having four choices in the second place we are having three choices in the third place we are having only two choices and finally in the fourth place we are having only one choice okay got it let's move further and let's calculate the number of words the number of word formed using this four letter will comprised of the first digit and the second digit and the third digit and the fourth digit the first digit is having the four choices the second digit will be having the three choices the third digit will be having the two choices and the fourth digit will be having only one choice and we will replace the word and with the multiplication we got 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 24 that is the answer of the question so basically with this four letter word t a n k we can form 24 different words got it it does not matter these words are having meaning or not because the question is saying we have to form the words without the meaning okay so 24 different words can be formed from these four letters similarly you can take the five word letter or three word letter you can calculate the answer 
like if we have take any five word letter the answer will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is basically 5 factorial that we will see in our next lecture what actually the factorial is and how to solve the question related to the factorial okay now if you modify the question and if we remove this condition that is repetition of letter is not allowed now in this case the repetition of letter is allowed it means that we can repeat any of the letter suppose we have taken the letter t in the first vacant place then the second vacant place is also open to the word t okay got the fundamental in this case the repetition of word is allowed and again the question is same that is we have to calculate how many four letter words we can form from these four letters that is t a n k where the repetition of the letters are allowed pause the video take your time and try to solve this question okay once you have got your answer you can unpause the video let's see how to solve this question let's come to our first vacant place again we are having four choices that is t a n or k and we are having only one vacant place so we can either put t or a or n or k okay so four choices are possible let's come to second vacant place here the repetition of words are allowed so again we are having four choices again we can put either t or a or n or k got it here the repetition of letters are allowed so we can repeat the letters so again we got with four choices similarly in the third and the fourth vacant place again we are having four choices either t or a or n or k okay so in the first option we are having four choices in the second third and fourth we are having the four choices so our equation so on solving the equation we got our answer as 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 okay that is the answer of the question are you able to understand the difference between both the scenarios in the first scenario the repetition of the letters are not allowed in the second scenario the repetition of the letters are allowed in the first scenario we got the answer as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 in the second scenario we got the answer as 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 okay are you able to correlate this fundamental with the quotient of the number log where we have used the four digit okay are you able to correlate there also the repetition of the numbers are allowed okay in the first slot we have to choose number from 0 to 9 in the third and the fourth slot also the repetition of the numbers are allowed that is we can choose the number from 0 to 9 got the fundamental the question will not always will specify whether the repetition of the numbers or the letters or the cases are allowed or not you have to use your common sense to identify it like in the number system you can repeat the number because in all the fourth slot the number varies from 0 to 9 okay but in the words like here in the case of tank repetition can be allowed and the repetition cannot be allowed that depend on the mindset of the question framework okay so we have discussed the various scenarios hope you have got the fundamental let's take one more question this question you have to solve i will only assist you okay the question is that how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits one two three four five six if the digits can be repeated okay take your time pause the video and try to solve this question hope you have able to solve this question then also i will explain this question okay here the question is asking for three digit even number okay even number the number which can be divided by the number two like two four six eight ten twelve fourteen all these are even number and we have to form a three digit even number how we will identify the three digit even number all those three digit number whose last digit is either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 are the even number. For example, 302, 304, 306, 308 and 310, 312, 14, 16, 18. In all these three digit number, 
the last digit are either 0 2 4 6 and 8 okay so we have identified the trick that is the last digit should be even so let's approach the question here the first vacant place can be filled with any of the six number like 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 okay this digit will not govern whether the number is an even number or the odd number further again the second vacant place can again have any of the six number 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 let's move to the third digit here is the trick the third digit cannot have one why because if it is one then it will be odd number but it can have the digit two okay two it is even it cannot have three but it can have four similarly it cannot have five but it can have six only two four and six will form the number as even this is the condition given in the question so in the third vacant place we can have only the three numbers that is two or four or six okay we got the equation let's solve it we got six into six into three that is the answer of the question okay got it let's take one more question this question again you have to solve it i will only assist you the question is how many four letter code can be formed using the first 10 letters of the English alphabet if no letters can be repeated. Okay, pause the video, take your time and solve this question. Let's solve this question. The question has given 10 letters of English alphabet and we have to form four letter code out of this 10 letters of english alphabet okay these are the first 10 letter of the english alphabet from this 10 letter we have to form the four digit code and the repetition of the letters are not allowed this is very important we cannot repeat the letters in the first vacant place how many letters can fit in we are having 10 letters so in the first lot 10 letters can fit in okay and in the second vacant place how many letters can fit in only nine letters can fit in why because repetition of letters are not allowed if we have chosen any one of the letter then in the second slot we can choose only nine letter similarly in the third slot we can choose only eight letters and in the fourth slot we can choose only seven letters okay so the answer is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 okay this is the answer so we can form these numbers of four letter code using first 10 letters of the english alphabet okay students that's it for this lecture so hope you have gained the fundamental so bye for now and meet you in the next lecture